You know what I just realized? Now, this company that you and I invested in, there's actually a lot of competitors, but we invested in this company called Stan. Yes. Um, I don't even know the URL. It's like Stan Stan with, with dot me. Stan with dot me. And basically what it is is you um you put a link in your Twitter bio or your LinkedIn bio, you click that link, and it's like Linktree where you see like five different pages you can click off to, but it says like book a call with me sell you this thing. It's basically for commerce, you know, like giving you money for an exchange for some type of whether it's time or a document. Right. Perhaps we'll see those type uh, although I don't necessarily believe that that will be the case, but um this thing might like impact that business. But so I think there's a bunch of cool inflections here. Um and this whole like idea of inflections, I think there's a lot to learn from. I was just reading about Thomas Edison and basically he was like, "Look, I just invented this light bulb. It's going to work. <laughs> it's amazing." But there was no power at the time. And he's like, well, we can power it by putting up these, these wires that go from house to house to house. And the government was like, no, we're not doing right. this. And so one day he uh, hosts a dinner and he goes, I want all you guys to come to this dinner. And they come up to the dinner and there's no lamp- lamps. So it's pitch black. And they're sitting there. They're like, what the hell are we doing? And then he just flips a switch and boom, his lights come on automatically. And there's waiters there ready to greet <laughs> them. And they're like, and he's like, this is how people are going to live from now on. And they go, oh, great. Okay, fine. Well, we, we will allow you to uh, put electricity throughout Manhattan in the smaller area to test it out. And so this idea of it... And, and that Not is how, lie, by the way. I got chills while you were telling that story. I love that. And that is how uh, GE came to be eventually was uh, in a bunch of these companies uh, that Thomas Edison had on. Uh, you know, he was involved in a little bit of everything. And I so anyway... You, I saw you tweet something that Thomas Edison invented the word hello. Yeah. So basically, before Edison, people would say greetings or uh, <laughs> good afternoon. Like, hello wasn't even a word. In fact, the word hello, it, it was pronounced a little bit differently. It was like, hello, or like something silly like that. Right. And when he invented the phone, he was actually partially deaf. And also the phones weren't very good. So he would call like an operator in order to set this up. And they would have to think of a word to say to be like the greeting on the phone. And he was like, well, the word hello, I can actually scream that pretty easily. And so I'm going to start saying hello, like it was hello. <laughs> it was like uh, originally it was meant to like as a as a word to like say, oh, you surprised me. Hello, you surprised me, you know. Uh, and so that's how he started saying it. And then once people started using the phone, they started saying it and the phone got better. And then it just became a hello. Wow. And that's that's how the word hello came to be. And then um, anyway, this idea of inflections are actually really interesting. So there's all types of moments where these things are capable. And, and I think that this NCAA thing, it's interesting. The idea you said is interesting, but the concept here of inflections is actually more important because we're actually seeing it happen right now. And by the way, I hear this so often. Um, two two, two uh, examples come to mind. One, I was talking to um, this guy, Jesse Puji, who we should have on the podcast. I know him. He uh, uh, lives in St. Louis. That's right. And he was telling me his story, you know, oh, how'd you build your company? He built this company, Ampush. And it was like this digital marketing agency that was working with Dollar Shave Club and Blue Apron and all the big brands. And so, and they eventually sold it. And so one of the things he had said, he's like, yeah, you know, we were just doing this other thing and then it was kind of wasn't working. And then that's when, uh, you know, like that's when whatever the Facebook platform launched um, or Facebook announced, you know, a newsfeed or Google launched AdWords or whatever. Right? There's all these like moments where new thing comes into existence. He's like, well, like this thing we're doing is not working. So like, let me go jump on that. And, um, and the same story is true for, for uh, our friend Suli, who he was like, yeah, I quit my job at Microsoft. I wanted to go be an entrepreneur. I didn't know what I was going to do. So I, um, uh, I moved back into my parents' house. And like that day that I moved in, uh, I was you know just browsing the internet. And I saw that Facebook launched this new platform, app platform. So I was like, okay, cool. Like, let me try to build an app today. And he's like, I didn't know if it was going to be a thing, but like he was one of the first app developers on there, built a simple, dumb app. And like it immediately started to like go f- to fly on Facebook because Facebook was that good of a like uh, platform and it was so new that people wanted to play with the new thing on the platform. And so that was like their start. And I've really heard this a bunch of times, which is a lot of times as an entrepreneur, you just need to be in the market. You need to be in the game. And even if your current thing's not working, if you are aware of these like inflection points, these shifts, these platform shifts or, or big changes either in law or technology, or uh, open platforms, things like that, you're, you're the perfect person to just shift over because you're kind of like already jogging. You're not at like a cold start. You're not like at a job where you got to decide if I should quit or not. And, um, and you weren't so successful at your current thing that you're, t- that you're married to it, so you hop on over. 
And I've just heard this many, many times over this same, um, same model of like, yeah, I was just doing this thing. It wasn't really working that great. And then boom, I saw that Facebook ad platform launched. So I made an ad for t-shirts and I started selling like crazy. And then I started, you know, then, you know, those are the glory days and it's, it's all downhill from there, but. And we are seeing these, start. we're seeing these actually constantly. So, um, like there's a thousand examples that we could just give that just happened in the last five or 10 years. I mean, you said Facebook, you said Google, you said there, you could say the same for Snapchat. Clubhouse likely won't pan out, but that was definitely an opportunity to have one. Right. This NCAA thing, the medical thing where now doctors could practice uh, remotely because of COVID. I mean, right. working remotely. I mean, there's just, it happened constantly. What I like to do is I like to read Politico. Politico is a cool site that tells you on re regulation updates. That's a great way to learn about these. Um, but there's like loads of different inflections and they happen consistently. And you you could be an insider to have to see some of them. So like, you know, if you're not working in tech, you're not going to see like the the power of Facebook early on. But like a lot of them are actually like the, the information is oftentimes blatantly obvious. It's not obvious that this is going to be the one, but it's blatantly obvious like, all right, this could be a uh, uh, inflection. Right. Yeah. And it goes back to that same two by two matrix. Uh, this athlete thing is... Um, is basically it's new problem. Like, like all of a sudden, a whole bunch of people have a new problem. These athletes have to keep track of their records. They want to make money. They can now do this. And there's going to be old, you know, you can take some old solution and repurpose it for, for this new opportunity, this new problem that, that exists in the world. And so, uh, all right, let's move on. Let's do 